first of all, cold resection. So everybody now is familiar with the use of cold snaring for lesions up to one centimeter in size. It's just as effective as hot snaring and it is much uh, safer. So it's just taken over this space of one centimeter and smaller lesions. And we, I think, are in the midst of a cold revolution and everyone is wondering how far we can go with this process. One area where we know we can be successful for lesions over a centimeter is for serrated lesions. So this is a patient with serrated polyposis. We're using a 20 millimeter snare here just to measure a couple of these. These are typically sized lesions. They seldom get uh, more than halfway around the bowel. Tons of them are sort of in the 10 to 30 millimeter size range. We have clear evidence now that these can be removed successfully without electrocautery. You can either piecemeal them out cold or inject them. I like injection because it allows you to see the common, right? perimeter of the common. lesion uh, very well. And in combination with a high definition scope, you can track that perimeter and that's what's key to getting them out uh, successfully. So you can inject them really with anything. They will lift, they have very little submucosal fibrosis, so they lift very well as long as they haven't been previously biopsied. If you see one and you're going to refer it or remove it later, don't biopsy it because that will uh, tack them down. We're using a diminutive snare here. This is the US endoscopy exacto. These snares are reduced in the diameter of the braid by about a third from a typical snare, so they cut a little bit uh, better. And even though we're going to piecemeal this lesion, it has a very high uh, success rate. This technique is cold from beginning to end. No aspect of it uh, is hot. Even at the end of it, where we would use the technique of snare tip soft coagulation, if we were using electrocautery, we don't do that here. We just rely on a wide excision of the lesion. Similarly, um, you don't have to clip these closed. Rarely, if you get an arterial bleed, you may want to clip that site, but otherwise you can leave it open. These are being done without epinephrine, but I think including epinephrine is a, is a very nice thing. I use a concentration of one to 200,000, but anywhere uh, diluted even to four or 500,000 will produce a nice uh, blanching effect. So we don't know yet. We have trials going on um, in the US, a multi-center trial comparing this technique in a randomized uh, fashion. We don't know yet whether this will be effective for adenomas. Certainly adenomas that are bulky or fibrotic, we're going to have problems with cold uh, resection. But in the serrated space, cold EMR or cold piecemeal resection has uh, really developed a lot of data now to support it. 